Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. So, in the last episode, uh, we got this cool car that has really creepy music that I hate. And also, uh, we got out of the hospital after quite a bit of weird glitches and crashes. It kind of sucked. I kept trying over and over to uh, get out of there, but every time we left, it just crashed repeatedly. And it kind of sucked for us. In this one, we're actually going to talk to Lily Ingram about a quest she may or may not have. Sure enough, she does. Hi there. Uh, let's let's have a chat. Hi, Agent York. Do you have a moment or two? No, I do not. Just one, if you need something. What's up? Actually, I've got another favor to ask you. What kind of favor? We don't have room in our storage for the new shipments that came in today. I know you just tidied it up, but. I was wondering if you could help again. Of course I'll reward you again. This time with our silver card. How is this different from the last one? You get a bigger discount than the bronze card. That means even more savings. I see. That sounds like a fair deal. What do you think, Zack? Uh, let's do it. I love the idea. If it would... Oh, right, I have to click on it. Thank you, hon. The storage room is this way. I keep having to click on things to check how my recording stuff's doing, and then I realize that I clicked off of my, uh, game, so of course my controller wouldn't work. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, so that one has to be moved. Okay. How to move things. <laughs> No, I'm... Okay. Um... Well, I already messed up because it pushed more than it was supposed to. Or maybe I didn't. Let's see. Where are the other... Where's the other thing on the floor? There's two right here. This one can be pushed there. That one would get pushed there. Okay, I already made a mistake. I was not supposed to push that yet. Dang it, I'm gonna have to quit... Reset boxes. That one would be in the right spot. This one would need to be pushed this direction. Then I run all the way down here. Or do I? Uh, what order should I do this in? If I push this over one. There we go. Now this gives me the lenience I need. To push this one out. There we go. Push this one here. Push this one all the way over here. See, this isn't so bad, guys. Oh, I kind of like that music playing in the background. It's all, like, funky and whatnot. Well, I guess more, like, rocky, but... Who do you think you are, Rocky Ball Ball? <laughs> all right. Simple block puzzles. I can do them. I'm smart enough. And finally, we are done. Kind of sad that I messed the first one up. Good work, Agent York. I knew I could count on you. 
Oh, it wasn't that difficult. We were taught in school that the police are there to help the people. It turns out they were right. Here's your reward then. I'll exchange your bronze card for a silver card. Aha! And now we get more discounts at this store. <laughs> there aren't that many people in this town that have one of those. It's a pretty rare item to have. So it's a real treasure. I'll be sure to keep it safe then. <laughs> you should use it to buy a gift for that special someone. We'll give you a big discount. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone to give such a gift to. <laughs> really? Come on. Well, anyway, be sure to come by again. And part-time job two. Also, is that potato? Are they saying I'm about as useful as potato? Because that's incredibly insulting if they're saying that. Oh well. Let's head out of here. Where? Oh, they got rid of my fancy car. There we go. Um. Now, are there any other quests I can do right now? Let's check. Doesn't seem like it right now. Let's see. No. No, it doesn't look like it. There are two people over here that I've never met, though, at the A&G Diner. Uh, I'll probably meet those guys later on. I don't have to worry about it. Now, let's head over to the actual plot, why don't we? I mean, we've spent so many episodes uh, doing side quests at this point. So from here I just make a U-turn. And head straight down here. So, where shall we go next? Uh, where we're supposed to go. Silly York. slow driver then again I am going like 50 barely able to control my car apparently these police cars are not very good if 50 miles per hour makes them go slightly out of control I mean really I mean sure when I go over train tracks and bumps and things I should slow down but 50 miles per hour out here on these roads these are really nice roads this should not be an issue I don't see potholes anywhere I wonder how much air I'm going to get from this. Whee! <laughs> like, next to none, actually. Oh, well. Now, from here, we're... 2,000 yards away. These drives take absolutely forever. I have no idea even why. And again, I wish I I kind of wish I'd already been here because then I could just teleport to this forest via the power of George coming and picking me up and driving me there, so that I don't actually have to drive places. <laughs> For any of you who thought we wouldn't actually get to hear York actually hum to himself again, you were mistaken. So seriously, this town is kind of huge, and there's not a lot to do out in the random forest bits. I'm gonna have quite a bit of he quite a bit of work ahead of me if I want to gather everything there is in this game, all the different cards, all the different side quests. 
it's gonna be fun, I guess. I mean, there's just, it's so much area is the problem. At least I have the ability to fast travel. Fast traveling is gonna make it a lot easier, especially if I've visited everywhere. I can just fast travel to a location at any time and it'll get me there and I can immediately start doing whatever side quest or card there is to gather. So, stream chat, how are you guys doing? You all, you guys enjoying this? Are you not enjoying it? Are you guys, uh, like, how are you guys doing? Actually, here's an even better idea. How about you guys answer through different means, like, Post a GIF or use one of the emotes that are actually built into the channel. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. And we're here. Greenvale Forest Park. Since 1868. What are you playing at? You tell us to come here, and you keep us waiting. Is this the way the FBI treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. You really are pushing it, you know that? I'm sorry if I upset you, but it was important stuff. To me, at least. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. He's not listening, George. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful from now on. I promise. And we're I'm finally to the tree. I'm Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Forest Park Warden Jim Green. Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body? Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. I wonder if we've ever seen them before. Creepy kids. <laughs> Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there, then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zack? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold, even for the sake of investigation. Children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. Oh my god. Okay. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them. Standing so upright there. Not really standing, but okay. Hello, twins. Now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me. What did you find here? Anna. She was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrel. Weasel and a snake. A real snake. We didn't know until then. But we know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah. She was a fairy. A goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, boys. 
Well, Emily, you can take them now. Okay. Okay, Zach. Um, this is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here, too. So, what happened here? And right as I try to light up my cigarette, I start realizing everything's starting to go to hell. I saw the... I saw everything a minute ago. What the? <sighs> What's happening? Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Well, Zach, look, the depression on the grass. I think we have a clue. Two bent pieces of grass. We found one of the clues that we needed. Profiling start. Apparently I could sleep in that shed over there. Alright, so the body was filmed here. Why is the tape torn down over here? Picture of a vest with holes. So I understand how profiling works. The more clues we find, the more I'm able to understand about it. But... What is this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Wait, what the... A can of pickles? I mean, I need those pickles. They're the most important thing ever, right? <laughs> Wait, what? The okay. Did I just find... Really? There's an infinite thing of pickles here? I guess every time they force you to stay in an area, they give you an infinite supply of food. And apparently this time, it's pickles. So I'm just going to get this infinite supply of pickles real quick, because... Pickles. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to fill up on pickles. Alright, grab this one more time. Since they're just giving me free food, I might as well use it. I'm not understanding the whole agent owner thing for destroying things. Was this like dishonor upon my family? Dishonor upon my cow? So now that we know that pickle is love, pickle is life. Seriously though, how many of these can I even carry? 
I can carry three at a time. I think I'm gonna eat one real quick. Actually, I'm gonna eat... Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna go back and grab two more pickles because, you know, they're actually a decent food item that they're just giving me for free. Infinite pickles. I mean, they do last forever, right? Pickled food lasts much longer than regular food. Okay, so if not here, then where? I could sleep in that little house if I wanted to. I thought it would be something to do with one of these. What's that in the tree? Did I just get a card for Onagram? Oh, cool. Glad I did that. Because, let's be honest, I'm kind of a psychopath when it comes to it. Blow up all the things. Um... So what do I do here? Supposed to be gathering clues. Oh, well, there's one in this tree here. Well, now that I know that there's one in the tree here, I can head down there. I don't know how I didn't notice that the last time I was up there. But I missed it. And it drops up there, so I really should have just shot from up there. Great. Well, at least I get this item. Chip with a rusted metal dust. Rusted metal dust on a wood chip. What do I know about this? Swing, 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 because I can. Alright, I think we found it, the missing piece of uh, pin heel shoe. I'm not sure why they called it that, but sure. So, let's profile. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. Hung her from the tree and put on her shoes. I was really enjoying it. Sicko. No doubt. George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zack? And what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zack. Joel who? Smiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George.
George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? Crying. Profiling start. Is, is the audio desynced? Now I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Just like the twins said. She was a goddess. The unsung, or unknown subject, offered prayers to her his body. His bitten out tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed, from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. So someone she else found the body. Victim who was with Anna, or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. Says the person I wearing do that. Too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The old lumber mill. Yep. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? All right. Things are getting a lot more interesting. <laughs> Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Deadly Premonition, Director's Cut, we're going to be going further into this murder, trying to find out who it was that killed her. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.